I just received this coffee sample in the post from a place called Frequency Coffee and they included a leaflet about a Spotify playlist they made. I immediately recognised the cool playlist artwork they used. This is a Cladney figure. Ernst Cladney was a German physicist and musician whose best known achievement was inventing a technique to show the various modes or shapes of vibration on a rigid surface known as Cladney figures due to the various shapes or patterns created by the various modes. He showed how a plate or membrane has specific regions which vibrate in opposite directions when excited at different resonant frequencies. In between those regions are nodes, lines of node displacement. Cladney ran a bow along the edge of a thin plate covered in flour and watched as the flour created patterns by collecting at those nodes. A photographer named Richard Foster has a cool album of similar patterns created using salt on a surface instead of flour. They are on his Flickr account and there's a link to this in the description below. You can make a similar kind of experiment at home using easy to find items. I'm going to show you how in this video, but first, coffee. Actually, making this coffee reminded me of another experiment you can do at home using boiling water and instant coffee granules. You can bend the speed of sound using bubbles. Click on the link in the description below or the card above to watch that afterwards. First of all, we need some kind of drum that is open at the top. I have a large diameter pipe, but you could use a paint drum or a large bucket. Next, we need a thin piece of material to form a membrane on the top. I have some thin black wrap that people use to wrap around parcels for delivery. You could use latex sheeting or cling film or even greaseproof paper or something like that. If you're using latex, be sure that you're not allergic. You want to cut out enough of the material to cover the open area of the drum and then a little bit more. Cover the open end of your drum with the film that you've just cut out. I do this upside down because I find it easier to control the material this way. Okay, now you've fastened the first bit on, you can turn back the right way up and start to fix the other bits of membrane. Take the opposite end of the film that you first fastened, stretch this guy tightly over and stick down. I do this all the way around the drum and then put another strip of tape all the way around just to be safe. Cut out strips of an old cereal box to make a rim around the membrane to stop any flour or granules spilling over onto the table when they start to vibrate. Now, there are two options for you to be able to make sound in this drum. On this one, I've cut out a hole in the side so that I can insert a narrow pipe and make sounds into it. Please ensure you make the hole safely. Sprinkle your flour or granules on the membrane and now you're ready to start making sounds and watching the patterns emerge. As I make the sounds, the air travels through the air inside the drum and hits the membrane. Those sound waves vibrate the surface and create the patterns that you see from the pink granules. You can also make one which is open at the bottom as well and has a small loudspeaker making the sounds for you. Then you can sweep through different sounds easily and see if it responds to really high and low pitched sounds that we can't make ourselves. Go ahead and take photos and videos of yours in action and send them to us here or on Twitter at ISVR Southampton. Have fun!